George and welcome back to Call of Dragons, a dedicated free-to-play player who played this game for more than 500 days. I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. Uh, today we are going to take the Hydra in Season of Stripe and honestly whenever you are progressing through the servers and KVKs, every single behemoth is getting stronger and stronger, right? Um, how they are getting stronger? They are having a more HP. Every, every single mechanic is same, uh, but the same mechanics are dealing way more damage, right? It's normal because every single player is progressing and getting more and more power whenever you are playing Call of Dragons, and if Behemoth would have stayed same, then the players would be uh, killing every single Behemoth in one tap, right? So that's why Season of Stripe, the newest season, the live uh, season, uh, we are trying to get capture the uh, Hydra, which has a 5% Elixir production speed buff, uh, which is really important for us. And of course, some teleportation scrolls, uh, some important gems, which every player needs, right? Because that's actually the... Uh, like most important uh, currency in the whole game and of course some speed ups uh, the damage rankings is mainly for tier 5 players and I think without tier 5 players it will be really really hard to uh, take the behemoths which are uh, Hydra and everything which is after Hydra um, let's see how easy or how hard it will be for us to capture this one and in my opinion for the zone 4 on zone 3 wars uh, it will be important to have uh, the elixir production speed buff uh, in, in general, right? Because not only in, during the wars, even some darkling farming, farming, even during the uh, events where you have to kill a lot of um, like NPCs, that's important buff. Now, generally, in my opinion, behemoths are one of the most coolest uh, things in whole game. It gives like an MMO um, vibe whenever you are playing Call of Dragons. You are gathering with, with your alliance members. There is like some limits now uh, whenever you are killing the elite one. And of course, elite one is like 10 times stronger. You are getting some rewards. Of course, you are getting you are not getting any like uh, artifacts or items. Maybe in the future, something like this will happen that killing behemoths had a chance of dropping artifacts for like a couple of members uh, randomly. That should that could be like amazing addition to the behemoths uh, system. But so far, I think it has a good uh, place in Call of Dragons gameplay. Uh, it's it affects it affects wars, it affects uh, even alliance limits in terms of members and of course those buffs which uh, you are stacking and getting more and more like for example this Hydra has 5% production speed, uh, other behemoths might have 5% uh, HP, defense, like every single buff. Uh, what we have uh, in Call of Dragons right now, the behemoths are actually having, right? Uh, so far we are waiting until the charge will happen. Uh, let's see uh, how easily we are going to defend, defeat the Hydra. Of course, it's a normal one, but still, uh, the live server uh, Hydra should be the uh, painful, uh, which can deal a lot of damage if you are not uh, moving across the layer and uh, if you are not dodging uh, the... Uh, abilities which Hydra will uh, throw, right? Uh, in terms of uh, legions uh, for the uh, Hydra battle, of course, mainly marksmen, and in general, marksmen are the best, um, like, legion type towards killing any kind of behemoth. Some of the fights are, of course, uh, gathered with some mages, uh, such as, like, um, uh, witches, right? When, whenever there is like two witches, one uh, you can deal physical damage, and second you are only dealing magic damage. I forgot the name. Uh, and of course, but in general, I think marksmen are like most popular, and not not only because of popular, it, like marksmen are doing highest amount of damage, right? Because uh, we have highest amount of physical uh, damage in the game, and that's why uh, marksmen are the best one for the defeating the behemoths. I think we are going to charge pretty soon. Uh, of course, we are trying to gather as much people as possible, whoever is online, because. Uh, we don't have any limit in terms of numbers, like uh, before, in the beginning of the Call of Dragons, only 40 people could access the behemoths, but uh, normal ones doesn't have a, a limit, right? 
finally the fight has actually started and let's see um, uh, how easily we are going to defeat the behemoths, right? Uh, of course the mechanics will be same but if you will fail the mechanics uh, the uh, damage which you are going to get from the hydra mechanics will be higher than it was before right uh, of course my main tip if you have a rattle spear don't use rattle spear in behemoth battles because whenever you are using the uh, skill of the rattle spear you are actually standing still and that actually is bad because you have to move around uh, in every single fight against uh, behemoths right so far i think we are doing fine um we like hydra still has 2.5 million hp but i think our main damage dealers are alive and they are dealing quite a lot of damage uh, myself as a tier 4 player of course i will not try to be number one or even top five because it will be impossible uh, for sure but still i will try my best to be as impactful as possible i will try to get this one uh, the um, this is actually the most important and most painful uh, mechanic which uh, hydra has you need to stand on the circle of co and of course you have to avoid this um, the green blasts which are dealing highest amount of damage that Hydra can uh, deal. If you will just do that mechanic uh, cleanly then I think you shouldn't have any problems defeating the Hydra. That's my opinion and that's how it generally happens, right? Uh, of course Hydra drops some healing wards which are important because uh, whenever you are full health that's the only time you are dealing the highest amount of damage. Uh, every single second you are losing troops you are having less and less uh, damage because uh, full uh, legion is the highest dps uh, almost 1 million hp is left and i'm not sure if we have lost even a single legion so far we are doing fine uh, my number in terms of damage is 22 21 uh, which is kind of cool because we have quite a lot of tier 5 players inside this fight and I think uh, being it in top 20, uh, 20 is quite good, right? So normal Hydra in Season of Stripe is defeated. Uh, that's the uh, conclusion of this fight. I hope uh, that you guys understood how to uh, avoid the most Im important mechanics which Hydra has, uh, such as this one. Like this is like actually most important mechanic in the whole hydra gameplay uh, if you have the circle around go and stand on the circle and whenever hydra is use throwing blasts um, on you like green blasts that's actually highest dps which hydra can deal and if you will just do this mechanic uh, uh, cleanly i don't see any problems why you sh why you as a an alliance and as a member uh, should not uh, get the Hydra incident of Stripe. Of course, um, HP is high, of course, of course, damage is high, but in my opinion, uh, this is not a not a hard uh, uh, behemoth to take. Uh, it's a normal one, of course, but if we're gonna speak about Elite One and difference between Elite One, Elite One is faster, Elite One has Enrage, and Enrage is actually important because uh, like it's some it's some like after one and a half half or two minutes of fighting uh, you can have a timer of one minute and if you want gonna kill the behemoth in one minute it's gonna be one shotting everybody right and in addition to that uh, the elite one has the limit of the members so not like 60 and 52 people can uh, go inside the layer only 40 people can go and so you are having less members less legions less power less damage and the behemoths have has uh, two two x more HP and more damage, right? So that's why it's harder. Uh, and of course, if we are going to try to defeat Elite uh, uh, Hydra, I will be here and I will try my best to uh, like show it to go to you guys. If we are going to defeat it, if we will be close to defeating it, then I think uh, everything should be uh, fine because the most mechanics we did and that I can actually show. Uh, whenever you're gonna defeat every single behemoth, you're gonna go and you're gonna purify it after purification you're gonna see what's your uh, position in the uh, statistics of the damage how well you did and uh, like that's after the purification that's when your alliance is actually having the behemoths 
uh, in general, I think every single behemoth should be captured as an alliance. That should be like one of the highest priorities. And of course, in like in my KVK, like small update, uh, we are waiting for Zone Four and Zone Three to start fighting against our enemies. Uh, and uh, that's what I'm actually waiting for to show you guys the PvP gameplay uh, of Call of Dragons. That's the most fun gameplay you can have in this game, in any Kingdom Builder game, in my opinion. And I think, um, as always I have said, Call of Dragons has the best Kingdom Builder PvP gameplay which I have ever seen. 21 seconds, 20 seconds more and we're gonna have these behemoths purified. And of course... Uh, we're gonna see what's, uh, who is like in, in top 5 or top 10 and I will see uh, how many members of tier 5 players are in higher uh, statistical uh, positions, right? That's actually interesting if any tier 4 players went there and uh, are in like in a weird position, maybe in top 10, right? Alright, we defeated the Hydra and let's see, tier 5, tier 5, tier 5, tier 5, tier 5, uh, tier 5, tier 5, tier 5, um, tier 5, this guy, and uh, let's see, here, uh, top 14 is tier 4, so guys, if you are going to kill the uh, Season of Stripe Elite, not Elite, normal Hydra, you kinda need to have at least like 15 tier 5 uh, marksmen or like a couple of mages, but generally marksman players and you will be able to defeat the hydra easily so this is what's enough uh, for the live kvk to defeat normal one 15 tier 5 players and other uh, players should be the tier 4 right maybe some of, some of them of course are high tier 4 a uh, high, high tier 4 means like more than 50 million power but yeah only 15 tier 5 players are enough to defeat this behemoth. Uh, so yeah, I don't think it was hard one. Maybe uh, for some um, lower tier or lower power alliances killing uh, these behemoths can be harder if you don't actually have at least 15 uh, tier 5 players because without them of course uh, killing every single behemoth is quite hard. As always guys, if you like the video, if you learn something new and if you're gonna use this uh, knowledge to your own gameplay, uh, press like, subscribe, share. It always gives me more and more motivation to make more videos for this amazing game. Uh, I wish everybody amazing day, morning or night. We are going to see each other really, really soon. Bye bye and good luck.